Hello and welcome from the Journey Museum and Learning Center. My name is Christine and I have here today an activity for toddlers. So this is more for parents to learn how to make this activity for toddlers. But if you do have someone who's a little older, stay tuned until the end and I'll give you some ideas on how to extend this activity for older kids. So the activity that I have here to show you today, I call it Animal Feet. And it's all about finding animal tracks and learning about the feet of animals. So I've done this for a Toddler Tuesday here at the museum before, so I'll show you my example and you can create your own at home. So what I did was I chose the animals of the Black Hills to be the focus because we have a wonderful exhibit in our museum where we get to see the actual animals on display of Black Hills and that's exactly where I like to be. But for you, you can use a video to show your different animals if you'd like. After you choose your animals, then start to uh, make an answer key for yourself. This will be very helpful. What you'll want to do is research and find what the animal prints look like and put that on a document and then also search for a picture of the animal's paw and then a picture of what the track would look like if you were to find it in the dirt. Now, when you have your answer key to yourself, I highlighted key points that I want to point out to the toddlers. But again, you might have older kids, and if you do, then you have some more detailed information for them. So right here, I have a wolf track. So with the wolf track, when we look at the paw of the wolf, so here's a bigger picture of the paw right there, we compare it to how it looks similar to a dog's footprint. And you might have a pet dog at home, and you can compare it like that. And then, because we have our exhibit here at the museum, we look at the wolf and notice how much bigger it is. So look how much bigger that paw print's going to be. So after you've talked about the animals, and you've gone through each of them, what you'll do is make something like this. I call it like a field guide, but it's friendly for toddlers. So what I did was I found a picture of a wolf and a picture of its paw. And I wrote the word wolf across the top. And I did that for the other animals I have here. Notice I have a bison with this hoof, a mountain lion, and so forth. So I have a big horn sheep, a beaver, a rabbit, a duck, and a skunk. What I aimed for when I chose these animals was animals with a variety of foot uh, prints. So we have paw prints, but also I have webbed feet so we could talk about webbed toes. What a good talking point with toddlers. And then hooves to talk about um, hooved feet with toddlers. And so after you have your variety, go through it together, this little field book. Then comes the fun part. So before you meet with your toddler, what you would have done is you would have printed off all of these feet prints. And these feet prints, what I did was I looked at my description on my answer key and it told me about how big they should have been. And so I, when I printed it out on paper, I made it as big as it would appear in real life. Now what I do at the museum is I hide these feet prints all over our museum. What you could do is hide it around your house. Hide them outside. It's going to become like a little kind of hunt for them to look for these different feet. And as they go around, they hold their little field book and when they come across a footprint, they can look at the actual paw and compare it to the footprint and try to find which one fits. So in this case, it happens to be the rabbit. And if they're having and if they're having trouble, you can talk about how long that foot is. But what I found is I even had toddlers here who were about three years old or maybe a little bit younger, and even they could do this. And they had so much fun and they felt so successful at being able to find out which animal had which footprint. When you put it in a simple form like this, toddlers really can get involved learn about animals, learn about their feet in a more interactive way, 
and I hope that you'll have a lot of fun with an activity like this with your toddler. If you do have some kids who are a little older, here are some extension ideas for you. So you could take a footprint and maybe when you print it off, maybe you cut off parts of it and you have a partial footprint and they have to figure out what animal it is. Because in nature, we don't always have full, perfect footprints. Sometimes they're partial. If you have a reader in your family, then maybe instead of having a picture of the bottom of the animal's paw, maybe have a description, just like from your answer key, but in easier to read format. You could have a description written there and they have to read the description and based on the description, find out which footprint they're dealing with. So this is a really fun activity and it's one that maybe you could pull out time after time to keep doing. So I hope that you'll have fun at home with this animal tracks activity and encourage your toddler to get out in nature.